Thanks for subscribing to the ZonCon podcast, the podcast all about Amazon conversations. These are the tips and tricks to become an Amazon millionaire. Here is your host, Andrew Erickson. He is all things Amazon, and so is this podcast. Let's have an Amazon conversation. Hey, hey guys, Andrew Erickson here, back with the Zoncom podcast. We have a fun little short one for you. I asked my one of my really good buddies, Chris Rawlings, to be here again. So thank you so much for being here, Chris. What's up, guys? What's up, dude? I'm stoked for yeah. this. Let's yeah, go. man. Oh, I love it. I love it. So I had this fun little analogy, and I was like, oh, this is a fun one. I got to get this on the podcast, and I think it'd be a fun one to share with people. So I, I asked Chris to come here and, and listen to me yammer for a little bit. Yeah, man, I'm stoked. I'm ready for this because you haven't told me this yet. This is good. This is new for me. So I'm yep. I'm right along with the <laughs> listeners like le- hearing this for the first time. So I'm stoked. So I was talking to somebody about like recessions and growth and, and all these different things that happen. There's all these like issues that happen. There's always going to be like dumb stuff that gets in the way, whether it's like large macroscopic economics, whether, you know, a a giant recession or a giant disease comes and like infects us and the world shuts down or the housing market crashes or the oil prices 10x, whatever it is, right? There's always these macro things. Of course, there's also these micro things or these small things that happen to us, whether it's, you know, sickness or whatever, these things happen, right? Or, Or lucky things, right? The price of oil goes down and it makes everything much cheaper, whatever it is, right? So there's always waves in the economy, always kind of like going back and forth and we're always feeling it, right? So that those waves, I thought, okay, well, things are always going up and down, right? In the waves. And I live in San Diego. It's a big, it's a big uh, like ocean. You know, we're right on the coast, have a nice little fun ocean here, right? And so I kind of thought about waves and how I think and how I see waves. And I was like, oh, here's a great analogy with the ocean the beach, and waves. So because we have waves coming and going all the time, we always have, we have, of course, the waves break on the shore. And people, we have to, we have to accept that waves are here, right? That's just the nature of, of the beach, nature of the ocean, right? People, the economy, and you being in the economy is like being in the surf, right? Being in, that, in those wave break areas. When you stand still and you plant your feet firmly in the ground and you stand as hard and as still and you just kind of lean back and like let those waves crash into you, what ends up happening, you stand still and you're you're stagnant and you're strong, you have that foundation, great, okay? What happens is these waves come and crash into you and crash over your head and we end up having to do, when you stand still in the surf, the waves crash into you and you have to end up trying to keep your head above water. And then every time a wave comes up, you have to hold your breath. <gasps> the wave crosses over. <gasps> Get your next breath before the next wave comes and try to always be grasping for breath. Right. My brother That's and I used to do this as a game. We used to, <laughs> we, we actually used to tackle the waves like football players, like, you know, fighting those waves, you know. We nice, run up yeah. and just like slam our bodies into them. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. So, so, so Chris is a wave tackler, right? Yeah. Wave tackler. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Maybe not metaphorically, but physically, <laughs> yes. I, I'm, I don't want to get embarrassed at the end of this story. <laughs> so, that's standing still. Okay. That, so, if you stand still, you're always going to have to hold your breath while the wave comes over your head. And then you can catch your breath when you have the kind of the valley of the wave, right? The next strategy that you can do is waiting, floating, floating on the surface, right? Now when the wave comes and goes, you've you've detached a little bit and you float and you're a little flexible and you go up and down with the waves. The nice thing is you're always keeping your head above the water and you're never having to gasp for breath. And so you, if you can kind of like let yourself float a little bit, be a little flexible, you can go up and down those waves and it'll be a lot better and a lot nicer. And you won't have to constantly be trying to grasp for air. But who are the people who love the waves and enjoy the waves? Who, who in this analogy, Chris is the, is the wave lover. The wave lover is the surfer, dude. Yes, the surfer. The surfer, dude, is the guy or do that. The the lady who who loves the waves. They embrace yes. the waves. They go out for the waves. They wait for the waves to be big, and they bigger say, the "Oh better. my god, bigger the better." Exactly. 
And what they do is they they wait for the big wave. They wait for that thing. And when the wave comes, they pop up and ride the wave in. And that's their favorite part is riding the waves. Yes. So the lesson we learned from this, don't plant your feet firmly in the sand. At least learn to, to wade. At least learn to float. Okay, we always want to flo- float first, right? That's the first part. Don't don't let the, the waves uh, destroy you, basically, when they come by. At least be able to not get destroyed by them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You want to learn to float first, but be the surfer. Get the mindset of a surfer that enjoy the waves. Wait for them to come. Wait for that weird crypto wave to come. Wait for that weird yeah. Amazon wave. Wait for that weird, like, who knows, the influencer wave, wave, whatever it is. Yeah, 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 the coronavirus wave. Yeah. Dude, that's great because you could even you could look at it from any of those actual specific perspectives you just talked about. And I could identify the people that were the the plant my feet in the sand. I could identify the waiters and I could I could identify the surfers, you know, there with all of those things you talked about, like, you know, crypto, for example, there are people that were like, this isn't real. All it is is numbers on a screen somewhere. You know, it's not I can't hold it in my hands and then just missed out. They missed out, knew about crypto when it was $200 a coin. Now it's whatever it is, $50,000 a coin. I'm not sure what the exact price is, you know, missed out on it, you know, and they even shat on it. So it, and they couldn't be flexible enough to stay with it. They, they totally missed out. And the people that were flexible enough, like maybe they got a little bit of it. Maybe they, uh, they accepted it. They didn't hate on it. At least they were open-minded to it. So they were kind of there. It didn't, it didn't hurt them. But then there are people that got stoked about it and really like dove into it and were like, yeah, I see this and I'm actually excited for all this change. I'm not scared of this change. I'm excited for the change. As to say with the coronavirus too, dude, it was the same last year. There are people that saw like, oh, well, is there opportunity in, in, you know, all of this chaos? You know, is there something that, that actually could be good about all this? How, how can I like actually leverage some of this change rather than just letting it beat me down somewhere. And there's nothing selfish about that or wrong about doing that. That's actually the right way to, to approach change. It's all about how you approach change, right? Exactly. The surfer, it's, I like it. It's dance. That's what it is. The surfer, yeah. like you, with, with, when you're dancing, you are fully present. Whatever comes your way, whatever other dancers come your way, whatever, whatever song comes on, you will move your body to it and you'll interact with others and you can't predict what they're going to do. They can't predict what you're going to do. And that's the beauty of it. You're in the present and those surfers, they're dancing without those waves. They don't control the waves at all. They're just dancing with them. They just, they see them, accept them as they are, and then they adapt to them and they play and they play with it. Those guys planting their feet in the sand, they don't play. They're not present. They're not curious. They're, they're rigid. They're strict. They're set in their ways, you know, set in stone. And exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what I don't want to be. I'm, I want to be one of those surfers, bro. Awesome, man. Yep, 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 exactly. So lesson to take away this little, this little nugget for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and pop your feet out of the sand, learn to float, learn to embrace the waves. And then, of course, we want to learn how to surf. Chris, I appreciate you coming on and surfing with me on this episode. Totally, bro. Let's surf together soon. (laughs) Hey, guys, if you found value from this episode, I would love if you could tell the world. If you don't want to tell the entire world, I would love for you to tell iTunes at least. If you can go to iTunes, if you listen to this podcast on iTunes, go ahead and go leave us a review. I have a few here that are amazing that I love to read out. I read every single review that's posted. Um, This one is a review from Amber K. If you're looking for a podcast to efficiently learn hacks to grow your Amazon business, this is it. Andrew's wealth of knowledge is abundant and generously shares it all for the this podcast the latest and greatest information to push to your business to the right to the next level is right here stop reading this review and tap play nice oh i love it amber k thank you so much for doing that 
So if you think you have a review that is equal or better than Amber K's or or worse, whatever. If you don't like me, that's cool. You can tell me too, whatever. Go to iTunes, leave a review. Also, Spotify now is allowing ratings. So please go on to Spotify and super easy. You don't even have to write anything. You just hit five stars and leave that review. You know, as an Amazon seller, how important reviews are to your business. I am asking you at the goodness of your heart, please leave me a review as well. Thanks. Thank you.